I'm making with Katrina. Hope everyone's having a lovely Sunday. Start of a new week already. Cannot believe today is July 31st. It's just blowing my mind how fast this year has flown by. And I'm looking up and I'm just like going in stores and I'm seeing fall stuff. And I'm like, I don't want it to be fall yet. I love summer. I love that's my favorite season out of all seasons. Spring. It's nice because you you know you're anticipating the warmth of everything changing, like spring flowers and trees blooming and grass growing and the smell of fresh cut grass and just seeing sprinkler systems and then you know the time changing to where it's like you know daylight longer. I love that. That's what I like about spring, but I really love summer because it's just like you have those warm days to where night and day you can get up hey Aubrey night and day you can get up at any time and just like have on just no shoes and go outside <laughs> I know right but anyway so today I'm gonna just be showing you what I'm feeding my family um, for a week my large family of 11 um, me and my husband, actually this coming Thursday will be 15 years for us. We've been married and we have nine children. We just had our nine. She is eight weeks old tomorrow. So, and I'm eight weeks postpartum feeling great and doing great. And I'm so thankful. God is so good. But on the menu today is going to be um, some gumbo, some, just some cornbread, and of course, some beans. I've never made these, but I just came across them when I was in Walmart. Uh, and um, we're just gonna follow the instructions. So on here it says use two cups um, of the mix and then seven ounces of water. And mix it up and then cut it into thick squares and fry them up. Top it with powdered sugar. I'm gonna do some with powdered sugar and some with cinnamon and sugar. I think that's going to be good. So let's get started. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that. Oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs, so I can't get enough. I'm thinking about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. I wanna say yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. I wanna say yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Yeah, I can be a fighter. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad oh, So now on to the next recipe Aubrey wants to make the cornbread So I'm gonna let her make that While I start on dinner This is just gonna, I'm gonna actually do this recipe In my Instant Pot Because it's easy and it's simple And I can just walk away from it, set a timer and it's ready And serve it up It has the rice, it has everything Now I did I'll show you the different things that I'm going to add to make it taste more homemade, but um, it'll be really delicious. Oh, 
Everybody sing, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna na 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 now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now Aubrey has made our cornbread, it's in the oven, and this should take about the same amount of time, which is about 20 or 30 minutes, for everything to come together. So I showed you earlier that we're going to do the gumbo, and we're going to do it in the instant pot, which will just be one pot, no mess, no nothing. What I'm going to do right now is turn it on um, saute, saute, um, because we're going to saute some veggies and stuff and saute some of the chicken. I've got two um, boneless skinless chicken breasts cut up. You can use thigh meat if you want. Um, I have some um, diced tomatoes um, in with bell peppers, onion, and garlic already in there. Even though I have some minced garlic, I'm going to use a fourth of a cup. We love garlic. Garlic is so good. I'm going to also use some Cajun seasoning, um, just a little bit. Um, it has salt in it, so you won't need to add any salt if you use some type um, of Cajun seasoning. Typically, it has salt in it, like um, Tony Saturi's or... Um, I think Xanaran has some, some as well. But also, just add to taste once it's done that's when I'll add the spices I have some beef smoked sausage already cut up and um, a whole yellow onion so I'm gonna throw everything in this pot with some olive oil it's starting to heat up like I want it right now and we're gonna throw everything in So y'all have forgot, my husband just reminded, reminded me um, the okra from the garden. Because they say they have some in here, but it's it's not. It's going to be little to nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on in there and get everything cooked. Happy Monday. I'm going to set my camera, my tripod up here. Happy Monday. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Monday. Welcome back to my channel. So I told you yesterday that, which was Sunday, that we are doing meals of the week. Um, and I'm just, no, Cameron, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to take you along um, because it seems like, you know, these videos are really enjoyable. Um, just showing you what I feed my family in a week. I'm gonna do some fresh roasted corn because um, we, in my grocery haul, I bought, we bought like 16 ears of corn. So I need to roast those up and then I'm gonna do some roasted cheddar red skin potatoes and just this, the Asian sweet chili chicken thighs. And that's dinner. Oh, and I'm going to do a cake um, for the kids. I bought some cookies and cream ice cream um, for them because this is our last week of fun. You know, it's it's always fun because when you're homeschool, it's just you're at home. So you don't have to worry about getting up super early 
Um, and we usually start school at around 9, 9.30, and we, we try to be done by noon. Um, some of them definitely get done by noon, but for the ones that don't, then they have to continue until they're done. Um, but we will start next Monday on the 8th, so we're excited about that. A lot of my stuff that I've ordered um, came in today. I've got a couple more things coming tomorrow that I ordered, but I got all my school supplies, which I showed you guys in the last grocery haul. Um, two weeks ago, and then I got some stuff when I ran into um, Dollar Tree today. Happy Tuesday. Okay, so the kids are, you will hear them in the back. It is extremely hot today. I don't even know what the temperature is. Probably 90 something. We have not here in North Carolina reached above 97, I think. 97, 98, but it's felt like it's been 200 degrees. I'm going to tell you, as soon as you walk outside, you feel like you're just going to cook. What's the point of even putting on clothes? You better put on some clothes. Don't you walk outside without no clothes on. <laughs> I'm just joking anyway. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I just thought of something. I'm gonna do the egg experiment. We do this every year. I'm serious, y'all. Me and my kids, every summer we do the egg experiment egg, egg experiment to try to put that down. Thank you. Um to try to see if if the sun is hot enough, which we know, to cook an egg. And it never works. So we're gonna try it today because it is extremely hot and I hate that I have to have my oven on, but it's just gotta be because I gotta get dinner on. It is 3.15. I am gonna do tonight for dinner a barbacoa beef um, and I'm just gonna do it with two chuck roast and I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Two chuck roast, some veggies and put it in the oven and let it slow cook and it's gonna be delicious. And I'm gonna serve it over some rice, cilantro lime rice, with cheese and tomato and um, corn and just fresh corn off the cob and just we're just gonna fix it up and it's gonna be like taco Tuesday yes something easy and 
I don't have to stand over the stove because I can throw the corn in to roast and then cut it off the cob and just serve it up and it's easy and delicious. It's dinner time now. Use my unorganized pantry. It is dinner time now. I got my hair done. <laughs> As you can see, it looks totally different now. Um, I'm going to start dinner. What we're doing for dinner is um, baked chicken alfredo. Some broccoli and some dinner rolls. Get everybody fed and full, and that is it. Yes. So I'm going to show you guys the ingredients of what I'm using, and then I'll start preparing the food. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients for my baked chicken alfredo. I just have, of course, some thinly sliced chicken breast in here that's already been cleaned. I have for my spices, granulated onion, um, ground black pepper. I have some Kinder's blend, some paprika, some oregano. Of course, your choice of alfredo sauce. I'm just using, of course, the canned um, alfredo sauce or jarred, sorry. Um, jarred alfredo a little bit of chicken bouillon seasoning parmesan cheese some minced garlic I did three tablespoons well three teaspoons I'm sorry because I measured out the teaspoon right there half of a white onion some Cajun seasoning of your choice you don't have to use it but we want a little spice and then of course your type of pasta I love thin spaghetti or angel hair but you can use penne Rigatone. All I'm going to do to the chicken is just marinate it for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to sear it on both sides for 10 minutes, um, 5 minutes on each side and then we're going to put it in a casserole dish, top it with our cheese and cream sauce and bake it for 20 minutes on 425 degrees. I had to make sure that my oven was preheated. Um, 425 degrees and then you'll be serving it with whatever I'm gonna roast some broccoli and have some rolls and then pasta but you can do it with whatever spaghetti squash if you are trying to um, be a little bit healthier or you can do it with some rice I know that's different but I think it'll be delicious whatever you choose to do with it so we're gonna go ahead and get my family fed and yeah and I'll show you guys how everything turns out
Thursday. So today is me and my husband's 15th year anniversary. So instead of me in the kitchen, we are going out for dinner. We're gonna go to the Cheesecake Factory, of course, with all the kiddos. But I'll take you guys along and show you what we all eat for dinner. So it's dinner time. Last night for meals of the week, we just came back from the store. We had to run to the store because I wanted to make some um, Chinese food. My husband's gonna help me with it, but I'm just gonna show you guys the finished product once everything is done. This, um, of course, the whole recipe and makeup, sorry, it's, camera's kinda dark, there we go. Um, will be in a different video and you'll be able to see it um, more in depth and I'll give you guys the recipe for everything in another video but thank you guys so much for watching what I feed my family for a week and I will talk to you guys soon
Say something.